I think you will find the table by the platform if you like it. Amigo mia, como estas? Buenas tardes. Esta mesa. Gracias. Sí, sí. Can you smile? How can my guests feel in the mood to spend when they see that vinegar-cured old taste of yours scoffing at them as they come in? Ah, oh, Mr. Fyfe. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Schomburg. So, going back to that island of yours, eh? Yes. Nothing like this on the island, eh? Hmm? No. Nothing like this. There's a table... I do. You do nothing. I look out for that. <coughs> Why do you sit there, eh? When all you have to go is to go to the Mac of the Walk. You think you've got nothing to do, eh, but play the thief. And Mac, the eye of my hooster, eh? Get down there. That's there. That's the way I like them. Hey, hello, my you know. Must be rather a nuisance. Nuisance? I know another word for it. Are you compelled to, uh... To get down here on the floor and smile at the animals because they'll spend their money? <laughs> you don't think I'll do it for fun, do you? So distasteful to you. Why not, uh, quit? Quit? Why doesn't a prisoner in jail quit and go home? Surely, if you really wanted to get away... If I wanted to get away... Why not appeal to the council? <laughs> No, he'd bother about what his son's up to him. You think he'd believe me? He would not. Nobody would. I'm here. If I didn't want to do it, why did I start? That's what he'd want to know. I'll bet that's what you want to know. I confess I'm curious. If I joined this troop because I had to do that as song. And I didn't know then that when they got us here, they'd expect it to. Oh, what's You needn't be afraid of me. Afraid of you? <laughs> After all the rotten, crawling creatures I've been with, I... <laughs> I can't stand this much longer. You have too much for me. 
What shall I do? Tell me. Hmm? I'm afraid I'm not much good as an advisor. <laughs> I'm very impractical. Never mind. I was always a failure in dealing with people. And since I've been living alone, so completely out of the world, out I... Out of the world? I really am. I have a bungalow on a little island some 90 miles from here. And you never get lonesome? Well, I have a certain genius for solitude. I can understand that. Away from people. No one's a bar. Anything else, sir? No, thanks. <laughs> Think a bird that's got all the gold he's supposed to have would buy at least one bottle of wine. <laughs> Why, you don't believe that old wives' tale about us having gold on that island, do you? Well, it's a funny thing. He lives there alone all these years. Unless there's something. Something? Yes. But not gold. Why, he's got no more gold than I have, and probably not so much. <laughs> if you should ask me, I would say that he is wanted by the authorities somewhere. He's hiding. That's just what he's doing. He is hiding. Just hiding. Ever since I married you, your head aches, your back hurts, you've got a fever, you want a doctor. Are you sick now? Of course you are not sick. You are just lazy. Twenty people came into this lobby tonight. Did you send them into the entertainment? No. I tell you what you did. You just sat there behind that desk and did nothing. Nothing. That's what you did. You well, who's my husband? Should I know, Mrs. San Giacomo? You don't know where he's my husband, no? No. I don't know and I don't care. He's not in his room. Mm. You might go down to the native quarter and peek through keyholes. Not bad to look at some of those brown ventures. No, <laughs> it is not the brown girl he look after, no. Mm. It is that red-haired hussy, Alma. I tell you, I kill her. She's no good. Long time now, she met the eye of my husband. I cut her heart out. I tear the eye out of my fingers. I tack her by the throat. And I kill! I kill! So, not in his room, eh? We will see about that. If that monkey takes the jumping jack and up with something, not in his room. She worked for me. And you work for me, both of you. Don't forget that. Now you get out of this room. Well, you can't give me order. Your wife is looking for you. I don't care for that. Let me go. Let me go. Maybe you care for that. I'm not that stronger. My good friends call me Wilhelm. I'll uh, see you in the morning, Mr. Schumberg. 
I can do a great deal for my good friend, Alma. I, I want you to go now. Oh, <laughs> I'm here. What's the harm? Can't we talk a little? Sit down, Alma. We can talk in the morning. Why do you always put me off like this? Oh, we got off for it before I told you. I just want you to let me alone. But you don't know what I got on my mind, Alma. Yes, I do. I have never told you that I mean to marry you. Marry? Me? Sure. Oh, don't bother about that foolish old woman of mine. You can kick her off to Europe. She could get a divorce there. Hmm? <laughs> Wilhelm, you're wanted in the lobby. Some of the natives singing. Pretty. It's an old island love song. It, it has nice lilt to it, hasn't it? I get a great kick out of the native words. Oh, do you know the words? Yes. It may not sound like much in English, but it goes something like this. Let's see. When I met you in the moonlight, the breath of your beauty was warm, like the scent of new flowers at dusk. You smiled, and the world was made again. The world was you and I. Oh. The native words have more swing to it. Yes. It seems almost impossible that anything so lovely could be so near Chandra. There, isn't it? Sure is. That's my boat out there. That little sailboat down by the dock? That's it. I'm going back to my island tonight. Oh. You'll be out there at sea in that lovely little boat under the clean starlight. 
On your way back to your paradise. Tell me about it. Is, is there a sort of village there? Where I live? I should say not. Well, there's nobody else on that island but Wang and his native wife and me and a little goat. No, you're sort of an island king, aren't you? I couldn't be better off if I were. Why, you can swim and fish, hunt, read, sometimes take a trip to a nearby island and... Oh, it's a lot of fun. Sounds like a dream come true. How'd you happen to settle there? Oh, I don't know. I was nervous and upset after the war, and, well, there was a girl. Oh. We were engaged for a while, and, well, we split. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not. Because after we parted, I scraped enough money together and came down here. And I found that island of mine, and, well, I just like to see the man I trade places with. It's funny. What? You find peace and beauty here in the South Seas. And I find oh, they're calling me. I I'll be right there. Well, goodbye again. I know a better word than goodbye. Good luck. If it's a better word, I'd use it too. Good luck to you. Oh, and say hello to your lovely little island for me. I'll do that. It's a promise. Mrs. Schumper. <laughs> What's the matter? Is there anything I can do? Oh, nobody can do anything. But, it's that girl, Alma. You mean the one that plays the violin? She and my husband. They're going to send me back to Europe to get a divorce. And then they'll get married. Oh, you mustn't believe that. I'm sure that they Oh, would. but I heard them talking. I heard him promise that he'd do it. I tell you, I heard him. Oh, I wish he'd never come here. My husband has his fault. There's never like this before. Never since she came. Well, I don't know what your husband may be up to, but I'm sure that that girl would but never... But you don't know her. That's true. I... Wait. Don't you come up here. Don't you dare. Well, Mrs. Schomburg, what's the matter? You know very well what's the matter. My husband's taken the room next to yours. He's up there now. Oh, Mr. Schomburg, I've tried to make him let me alone. It's all your fault. Oh, Miss Schomburg, what, what can I do? You can keep away from my husband. That's what you can do. Elma, my sweet. I stop you. You're going to be nice to me now, tonight. I have waited long enough. I can do what I like. If you don't got the job tomorrow, who's going to say something? Who's going to give you meal? Who's going to give you room? You're going to be nice to Zan Giacomo. Yes? All right. And tonight, go up to my room. Oh, my sweet. You will never regret it. Wait for me there. Yes. In yes. my room. I will wait. Yes. 
What kind of a trick is this? You greasy little rat! Keep away from me! May we register, please? Neat job, huh? Not bad.
How in the world did you get here? Please don't be mad at me. I strode away on your boat last night. Just before... Just before you sailed. But... Why, I just had to get away from Sir Bear. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, there's nothing else I could do. I hoped you wouldn't mind. It's quite all right. Of course, I'll do anything I can, but... Oh, you will help me? Well, what do you want to do? Well, I'd like to get back home. Back to the United States. Hmm. Well, there's a mailboat passes this island one day next week. We could set a signal and have them pick you up, and you could go to Simbla on that and get a steamer from there to San Francisco. I haven't the money to pay my passage. I can loan you enough for that. Oh, would you, Mr. Hyde? i pay it back to you just as soon as I can. That's quite all right. I try not to be any trouble to you. I know you like to be alone. Well, fortunately, I have an extra room in my bungalow. It's only for a week. Well, I'll try not to be any trouble to you. That's all right. Oh, uh, there's Wang. He'll row us ashore. Uh, can I get your bag? Oh, I haven't got any. I thought it was You see, uh, there wasn't any time. No, naturally not. If you wait a moment till I get some clothes out of my room. I think you'll find it comfortable in here. I'll take that room over there during the time you're here. Oh, I didn't want to put you all that trouble. I'll take that room. I don't mind. Not at all. Wang will have your breakfast ready in a few moments. Well, I could. Uh, couldn't I do that? Make breakfast, I mean. Don't bother. Wang will look after it. Ruining me, I tell you. Turning my good hotel into a common gambling house. Ricardo, Pedro, Jones. His name is no more Jones than mine is. And not one penny do they pay me. Not one cent. Oh, I have had nothing but trouble since that drunken fool, San Giacomo, fell downstairs and broke his neck. He must have been very drunk to fall so hard. Eh, Schoenberg? You're too nice a little woman to be bawled out by that bully of a husband of yours. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Keep away from Mrs. Schoenberg. 
cargo. Your gentleman, as you call him, He's in a bad humor tonight. Ah, good reasons. These stingy islanders, they play so tight, it's hardly worth keeping that game going. Well, there is really nothing worthwhile here. Why don't you leave? The point of this thing's the best answer to people who tell us to leave places. Ah, Mr. Jones' brains, Pedro's hands, and this. All wasted on a piker's game and you're two for a penny casino. I miss you the things that we've done in the ports of this world and the swag that we've grabbed and the ribs that this slice of steel has slit. And Pedro. <sighs> you never saw Pedro work, did you? Takes a strong man in his arms and breaks his back like that. <laughs> ah, we're a rare combination when we're at our proper business. Your proper business? Death, stealing gold from tame cats who haven't the claws to keep us off. You spoke of gold. What would you do if I told you of a man on an island? Alone, who has raw gold, gobs of it. I'd say you were a stupid liar. Oh, I would like to see somebody get him. Somebody like you. He... He ran away with the only girl I have... Oh, I'd like to see somebody get him. Girl, eh? The only girl I ever cared anything about. A good looker? Ah, oh, she was beautiful. One of my coolest servants saw her leave with that rascal Heist. Heist. Seems I've heard some gossip about him having gold hidden away. He's got it. Gobs of it. This girl. How old is she? Oh, about 20. Ah, that heist. I'd like to get even with him. My gentleman might be interested in this. Huh? We'll tell him about the gold. Yeah. But not about the girl. Huh? Mr. Jones doesn't like women. Oh. I do. I know. About the gold. And you say you saw this gold? Sure. I opened one of his grips. Sounds interesting. What do you think, uh, Ricardo? Worth going after, I'd say. We'll go. Good for you. And I want you to understand that if anything should happen to this scoundrel heist... Yes? I won't mind. Not a bit. And I won't say anything. Hmm. Possible. Something might happen to Mr. Heist. Uh, Ricardo? That's right, Mr. Jones. Might be something uh, we wouldn't want noise about. Huh? That's right, Mr. Jones. Oh, you can trust me. I wouldn't tell anybody. We have no intention of trusting you, Mr. Schomburg. That wouldn't be workmanlike. Ricardo. Pedro. 
Now, wait a minute. You can trust me. I, I, I give you my word. No, no. Keep him off. Keep him. Please. having for dinner tonight, Wang. We get them taken. Mr. Alma, as he says so. <laughs> Me don't like it. You don't like what? Me, did she go away tomorrow? Yes. What for she knows stay with by you? I think it much better so, huh? Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Can I get you something? Nothing, thank you. Cigarette? I'm quite... Thank you. Don't you ever do anything but read? Hmm? Oh, I beg your pardon. You can finish that after I'm gone. That boat gets here in the morning. Yes, I know. Be glad to get away? Well, I don't like being a nuisance. What makes you think you're a nuisance? Oh, nothing. Is the place beginning to get on your nerves? The place is all right. What is it? What's the matter? Why should you think there's anything the matter? By the way you act. I'm sorry, the way I act doesn't suit you. Well, I didn't mean that. Oh, I know you'll be glad enough to get rid of me. I won't be. You know, I think it'll be lonely here after you leave. Lonely? Well, that's what you like, isn't it? I don't know. You know what you like, don't you? I don't believe in liking things. Things? Well, or people. I know perfectly well that liking people means trouble. Oh, you. You and your ideas about life that you get out of a book. Do you know what's the matter with you? You're a coward. That's your trouble. Oh, now, just a minute. Well, that's why you run away and hide here on this island. That's what you're doing here. You're running away from life because you're afraid of it. I'm not. I know better than to let it trap me, that's all. You know nothing. You wouldn't let yourself know anything for fear of what you might find out. You're afraid of life, you're afraid of love, you're afraid of... of... You're right. I am. I have a good reason to be. What do you mean? 
And I loved a girl once. Too much. I got over that finally, living here alone. And then... Oh, well. Go on, what were you going to say? It's better left unsaid. I told you, you were afraid. All right. When I met you in Sarabaya, I began to think that at last I had found someone who... And then I found out. You found out what? Mrs. Schomburg told me all about you and her husband. And then when I saw you with, with Zan Giacomo, and you told him to come up to your room. But I... And you believe those things about me. You believe them. Well, I didn't want to believe them, Alma. Oh, yes, you did. You believe them because it's the easiest thing to do. And the easiest way is the way of a coward. But, Alma... Why do you suppose that I ran away from Surveyor? Why do you suppose I took the chance of coming here with you? I was willing to do anything to get away from Schomburg and San Giacomo. And you thought... But, Alma, oh, I... I'll be glad to get away from you, too. Just as I was from them. You hate me now, don't you? Hate you. I love you. I love you better than anything in all this world. Try and find something in your old book to teach you what that means. Well, Alma, listen. No, I don't want to speak to you. I never want to see you again. What do you want? May we come in? I agree with you, Mr. Heiss. The rewards of life in modern civilization are unsatisfactory. Very few have the courage to avail themselves of the solace of solitude. I'm sorry we disturbed you, but we were passing the island in our sloop and uh, saw your light. Oh, that's all right. But it's even more remarkable that Mrs. Hyde is willing to share your self-imposed exile. Well, she, uh, she doesn't mind. So few voluntarily seek solitude. Of course, I know men who are temporary hermits for cause. Well, we've been perfectly happy. We live here simply because we like it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. When I spoke, I was reminded of a man whom I know who stole a fortune in securities and hid with it. He was merely biding his time until it was safe to return to civilization. Ricardo. Excuse me. Hmm. Dominican. I always regarded its creation as one of the major arts. Mrs. Hyde? Mr. Hyde. Mrs. Hyde. If you don't mind, I'm rather tired after our long trip. Surely. This is our room. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you and Mr. Ricardo to share that one. Sorry, I haven't better accommodations. My dear, I, this is a little paradise after day and night on our little sloop. <laughs> I have no place for your man, Pedro. Pedro? Six feet of anything will do him as a bed. I assure you, he'll sleep like a child on a couch of broken rocks. Huh, Ricardo? He certainly would, sir. I'll, 
I'll join you in a moment. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Hyde. Good night. This way, gentlemen. See you in the morning. Now, Ricardo. There are certain civilized formalities, even in the business of robbery and murder. Go and ask him to join me on the porch. Right. Just a moment. There are little things I want you to do. Ricardo. They both here. I don't know. Well, they frighten me. There's nothing to be afraid of. Listen, Alma. Won't you let me explain oh, please, to you that? Please don't I... let's talk about that now. That man Ricardo. Now don't worry. Everything will be all right. Have you got a revolver? Yeah, there's one in my desk drawer. Well, get it. And keep it with you. Oh, that man Jones. I'll stay awake and keep watch for the night if you think that I... Excuse me. What do you want? Mr. Jones asked me to say that he would like to see you on the porch for a moment. All right. Now, don't be frightened. I'll be right back. I won't detain you more than for the length of a good night cigarette. Join me. You get out of here, I'll call my husband. <laughs> Your husband. Schomburg was right. Schomburg? He told me that you were the loveliest thing he ever saw. Schomburg send you here? I saw to it that we came here after he told me about you. You're getting good and tired of this idiot heist, aren't you? Tired of him? Oh, I heard you tearing into him when we first got here. But don't you worry, little one. We'll take care of him. What do you mean? Never mind that. We'll talk about you. Oh, I nearly went mad in there, sitting at that table watching you. I dare say you have been curious as to the reason of our presence here. I have. I regret the necessity of terminating our pleasant social relations, Mr. Heist. But business is business. We came here to rob you. What? Sorry? But I have nothing worth your taking. You have gold, Mr. Heist. Bosh. I want that gold. Stop! Put down! He's off!
Ware. Skipper, I want you to put this man in irons and turn him over to the authorities in Simbla. The charge is attempted robbery and murder. I know. I, I must thank you for an excellent dinner. And I only regret that business made it necessary for me to be such an ungrateful guest. Two men died here on this island last night. And you and I were as close to death as we'll ever be. And now I know what life means, Alma. I know that it doesn't mean anything unless there's something in it. Someone in it worth fighting for. And you're the one that's worth that to me. Only you. Now you're going away from here hating me. Oh, I don't blame you, Alma. But I just wanted you to know that... I. I don't want to go away. Alma. Need job. I never wanted to go away. But you are going away. Today. You and I. To Simbla. We'll be married there. Married. Then back to paradise. 